Hey guys, I'm Kalila Reynolds and I'm excited to start a brand new partnership with the Ministry of Finance and the Public Service called What's In It For Me? And this is a social media feature breaking down aspects of the government's economic reform program. Now, you know, when we talk about these things, the economy, there tends to be a whole lot of technical terms and all this jargon. And sometimes the people who are trying to get the message across just end up sounding like the grown-ups on Charlie Brown. Womp, 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 womp. You can't understand a word they're saying until you just, you just tune them out. But as you know, my mission is to make business and finance and also economics easy to understand. So we'll be having this feature every other week on Instagram and YouTube on my personal pages at Kalila Ray and on the Ministry of Finance's page at MOF Jamaica. So this week I want to start by talking to you a bit about the exchange rate. And I actually did a presentation at a foreign exchange forum hosted by the Ministry of Finance on Wednesday. By the way, you can check out that full presentation on my YouTube channel. Anyway, so they asked me to talk about exchange rate regimes and nominal anchors. That's the topic they gave me. And I was like, nominal anchors? What at? I don't even know what that is. And therein lies part of the problem because the event was billed as a public education forum, but the very first topic was something most people don't even know what they're talking about, not even me. So I did some Googling and I realized, yeah, I have heard about this before. So when you think of anchors, you think of something very weighty and stable, right? That keeps your big ship in place. So they simply wanted me to talk about different types of economic systems and how they anchor that big ship called the economy. Now, for many, many years, the foreign exchange rate has been considered the anchor for Jamaica's economy. It's been that sort of yardstick for how the economy is doing. And as you know, the dollar has just gone down and down and down over time. In the 70s, the Jamaican dollar was stronger than the U.S., and devaluation has seen it come to where it is now, hitting 138 to 1 U.S. last week. And I said in my presentation that because of that, Jamaicans have PTDD, post-traumatic dollar disorder. It's a serious and severe psychological condition, you know. And because of that, it's very difficult to overcome people's strong association between the value of the dollar and the strength of the economy. But what we've seen over the past two years is an untethering of the two. The dollar no longer moves in just one direction anymore. And you've probably noticed that. So some days it's up, some days it's down. For the past two years, it's generally fluctuated between 125 and 138 to 1 US. So the authorities have been trying to convince us that we don't need to be so obsessed with the value of the dollar anymore. The real thing that we should focus on is inflation. And that's why you hear all these ads running. Inflation's not the enemy if we control it. Stable, predictable. <laughs> and you have the one with Taros Riley. No inflation monster shall prosper. <clears throat> forgive my voice. So inflation is simply a measurement of the changes in the cost of goods and services. And they're trying to shift the nominal anchor, remember that phrase, from the dollar to inflation. They're saying, don't worry if the dollar is at 138. Inflation is super low. If you look at June, for example, Staten is actually reporting that inflation was negative 0.1% in June last month, which means that food prices and gas prices and all the other things that they track in their basket of goods actually got slightly cheaper last month, even though the dollar was going in the other direction. Now, there's a whole lot more that I could say on this topic, but I'm going to leave it there for now. In the meantime, you can check out the full video of my presentation on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Kalila Ray. So that's what's in it for me, brought to you in partnership with the Ministry of Finance and the Public Service. I'm Kalila Reynolds. Until next time.